Cruise News, a group of passengers currently on board a Norwegian cruise ship are irate. They felt as though Norwegians scammed them, so they banded together to come as one big group to guest services demanding answers from the cruise line. I have multiple videos to show you, and I'm going to get you all the information coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason. We are your cruise information channel. Normally I give you the cruise industry's top news stories in rapid fire fashion. This video will be a little different because I have two video clips to share with you regarding the situation on board the Norwegian cruise ship. So this video will focus on that news story, so let's jump into it. The situation involves the current sailing on board the Norwegian Star cruise ship. It departed Buenos Aires, Argentina on February 4th. This was a 14-day bucket list cruise going to Paradise Bay on the mainland of Antarctica and back. However, a large group of the passengers got a shock several days into the cruise. Right now, to give you the situation, I am going to share with you a short clip from one of the passengers on board. This video was taken as the large group of cruisers gathered in the guest services area. Check it out. I'm on board Norwegian Star. Our ship is not going to Antarctica. They secret secretively changed the name of this cruise yesterday on the app from South America and Antarctica to a round trip South America. According to the customer service desk, this decision was made by head office in Miami before we departed and it was for operational reasons. They refuse to explain what those operational reasons are. We know it's not weather. So what is the reason? We started uh, talking to people last night. Everyone was angry. We told people to join us here at 9.30 this morning and look at all the crowds that have turned up. Customer service are refusing to acknowledge us. They've sent their security officer out to calm us down, but we just refuse to be told, uh, sorry, we're not going and we're not gonna give you reasons. We feel we're being cheated, being scammed. This is the security officer telling everyone to calm down. Now, everyone on this ship has paid a lot of money to cruise to Antarctica, not to do a round trip of South America at sea. We are being dismissed, ignored, refused answers. They're telling us we just have to accept it. Well, guess what? We've paid too much money, we're too smart, and we're too angry to just order another cocktail and sit down and accept the fact that our money has vanished into Norwegian uh, cruise line's pockets. So we've not seen or heard from the captain, interestingly, not one announcement from the captain, nothing. So we're angry, we want to be heard, we want answers, we want transparency, we want clarity. I'll tell you one thing, don't ever take a Norwegian cruise. It is, um, they are treat us, treating us with absolute disdain, disrespect. They think we're idiots, we're not idiots. And we're not prepared to just accept this sitting down. We may not get to Antarctica. The chances of this cruise now going to Antarctica are minimal, but we want answers. Now I do want to reiterate that this is not just this lady's perspective. A large group gathered at the guest services area. Some of them have also sent in reports and they too only found out about the change after Norwegian changed the listing title for the cruise. And each of those reports have noted that a large portion of the Norwegian star passengers were unaware of the change. The day after the first video was posted, the same lady posted a second video with an update. The passengers receive a little more information, check it out, and then after the video I'm going to share some additional things with you. Watch this. Everyone out there, it's me with an update on what's happening here on the Norwegian Star. <coughs> so tonight we travel across Drake's Passage, fingers crossed, toes crossed for the Drake Lake and not the Drake Shake. After our gathering downstairs in the foyer yesterday, it did get finally two members of the crew, three members of the crew, including security, came down and talked to us at length. Um, but we are still very much in the dark. What we do know is that this decision, and I'm gonna say it again, was 100% made by Miami head office um, it was not a sea weather conditions related decision. It was made prior to departure. The decision was made on the 31st of January. We are going to the South Shetland Islands and to Elephant Island or cruising past those. They are 200 kilometers north of where we were supposed to be going, which was called cruising in Paradise Bay. That is where 
the people on this ship had wanted to go. We are not going there and it is not a weather related incident. I'm going to tell you right now what it is. Okay, let me pop in real quick before she gets into the reason they were given for the itinerary change. It seems they are still technically going to Antarctica. They were supposed to be going to Paradise Bay, which is located here on the map. I will zoom in a bit so you can get a closer look at that. But instead, they are now making a stop at the South Shetland Islands, which is located to the north and is not part of mainland Antarctica. So quick question, would you care? You are still going to Antarctica so you can check that off the bucket list or would it matter to you that you're not going to the mainland? Comment down below with that, but now let's continue on with her update. We are not going there and it is not a weather related incident. I'm gonna tell you right now what it is. What we heard last night was that the operational decision made by Miami head office and forced upon this ship is that this ship the Norwegian Star has a go slow order. They are not allowed to travel. I think it was beyond, someone said 19 knots. I know nothing about nautical travel. They are not allowed to travel as fast as they normally would. That's all we know. There is no explanation of why there is a go slow order on this ship or on any ships. Do they know why? We don't know. Those of you who have said that it must be weather related, it is not weather related. We have that as confirmation from the crew. The fact that we are continuing to cross Drake's Passage um, and we are going as it happens to the South Shetland Islands, which are a part of um, Antarctica technically. Um, so it is not a weather related incident. So please be aware of that. If it was weather related and it was for the security and the safety of the passengers, well, yeah, I would be on board for not continuing anywhere because I would be scared myself. We have not seen or heard from the captain. Usually even just when there's no issues, the captain comes on and says, Good morning everyone, this is your captain speaking. Have a great day in Oswaya. Nothing, nada, radio silence. They said that they sent an email blast out to all passengers advising of the change. Well, I can assure you that we never got any email and many of our um, friends here on board, and I'm talking hundreds of people we know, did not receive any email. They told us that there was a, a notice dropped at the bag check-in. None of us received a notice at the check-in. So until uh, the cruise had commenced, most people on this ship were not aware of the change in the itinerary. They've made a decision to go to the Falklands and to bypass that stop in Antarctica. I repeat, at this stage, it is not a weather-related issue. Now that could have well changed tomorrow, the next day, the next day. But when this decision was made in Miami, on the 31st of January, before this cruise set sail, it was based on the go slow order. The ship has to travel slower than it has previously. <laughs> For whatever reason, we don't know. Is it saving fuel costs? Is there a problem with the ship that it can't handle the long journey? We don't know. But they've made that decision and sacrificed the stop in Paradise Bay, which is what the passengers on this ship have paid big money, their life savings. They're here for major milestones. They are not going anywhere near mainland Antarctica, which is what we paid for. And as I mentioned yesterday, they have very surreptitiously changed the name of the cruise to uh, return trip South America and eradicated Antarctica from the name of the cruise. Some people told me to calm down. I'm calm, I'm calm people. We're here, we're on board, we're with friends. And yes, it is a privilege to be able to afford a cruise. But you know what, we saved and we booked this two years ago for the trip of a lifetime and we'll never be back. We'll never be able to afford to do this again. And we've lost that trip to the Antarctica mainland that we had all been hoping for and waiting for and that we paid for. So to those of you who call me a spoilt brat or whatever you've called me, cheers to you. We've saved for a very long time to do this trip, but we're gonna try and do our best to enjoy it. We're feeling very disappointed and dejected about the outcomes here. So I wanted to thank everyone for your support. Do I recommend a Norwegian cruise line? There are things about this cruise that have been fantastic. Some of the crew have been amazing and kind and friendly, but would I say to cruise on Norwegian? I would not because they have kept us in the dark, fed us <laughs> not really given us the truth until we forced it upon them and we still don't have all the answers that we would have 
liked. Okay, so a few things. Norwegian is saying that they sent an email. They are also saying that they had a notice at the baggage check-in for this cruise, but it is also obvious that a large portion of these cruisers did not get the communication. Now here's an interesting tidbit of information. While we cannot personally confirm what Norwegian communicated to the passengers on this specific cruise, we do know that back about a week ago, they did communicate to the passengers on the next two cruises, the one that departs on February 18th and the one that departs on March 3rd, that they were making major changes. And in those instances, they said that the reason was, quote, while we try to maintain original itineraries as much as possible, unfortunately at times modifications are made to optimize the itinerary or to accommodate certain circumstances. As such, in order to enhance the guest experience, the itinerary has been revised. So there we know that Norwegian said nothing about a go slow order or anything like that. They just mentioned that it was to enhance the guest experience. Then let's talk about what cruisers invested to take this cruise. They paid anywhere between $4,000 to $14,000 for this particular cruise, and that does not include airfare, hotels, travel insurance, or any of those other costs. So a quick question for you. What are your thoughts on this situation? Was Norwegian wrong? Are these passengers wrong? And that's just how it works with cruising. Let's take the discussion down to the comments below. And be sure to subscribe because I will have loads of lightning fast cruise news updates in the next video, so I'll catch you there.